All right, stuff I like. Stuff I like. Stuff I like. <laughs> stuff I like. <laughs> it's Claire, Claire Green. <laughs> <laughs> our latest, our latest contribution to the introduction to stuff I like. You know, yesterday uh, somebody asked me a great question, a question about overlooked masterpieces, overlooked uh, literature, and I started talking about Raphael Sabatini. I, I said I've been uh, selling him to Shapiro because Shapiro, like me, enjoys uh, swashbuckling adventure books, and he wrote these wonderful, wonderful novels, Scaramouche and Captain Blood, and I think a sequel to Captain Blood. Scaramouche begins with one of my favorite uh, first lines in all of literature. He was born with the gift of laughter and a sense that the world was mad, which I think I may have put on my uh, my headstone. Um, th these were made, Captain Blood was made into a movie with Errol Flynn. And I just, it made me think about the fact that Errol Flynn uh, is not somebody we really turn to too much anymore. His movies are sometimes thought of as corny, but they were really spectacular. They were really wonderful. He was one of the actors of that era who was able to play characters who are larger than life. And we don't really have actors who can do that anymore. We have some characters like superheroes who are larger than life, but really the actors are elevated by the parts rather than the actors suiting the parts and being fitted to the parts. But uh, Errol Flynn, Lived, he lived an epic life uh, with many things that people have objected to. He, among them, he was one of the great womanizer, womanizers uh, of his time, so much so that the phrase, in like Flynn, uh, became a, a saying among GIs during the war. Uh, if you were in like Flynn, you had just made it easy, easy, and that was because he was such a great seducer, very handsome guy. His, his role in Captain Blood is great. Robin Hood, The Adventures of Robin Hood, a picture you should not miss. It is the best Robin Hood movie, uh, far, far better than anything that has been made ever since. It uh, is, is uh, The Adventures of Don Juan was another one that ends with one of my favorite lines in, in all of movies uh, where he says, there's a little bit of Don Juan in every man. And since I am Don Juan, there must be more of it in me. I'd also like that on my headstone, but I don't think that's one that's going to make the cut. But let's just take a quick look at Captain Blood. Captain Blood is a story of a doctor who is sold into slavery. He's captured and sold into slavery, and he escapes and becomes a buccaneer. And here is a scene where Olivia de Havilland was often the love interest in Errol Flynn's films. And here's a scene where he finds that Olivia de Havilland has been captured and is being sold into slavery. And he decides to buy her back from the wonderful villain of all great swashbuckling movies, Basil Rathbone. And he's going to buy her back. And it's a wonderful scene because it's kind of sexy that he's buying this beautiful woman as a slave. But what makes it really sexy is we know, we know that he will never treat her as a slave. And that's why he's the hero of the film. Let's just take a quick look at Captain Blood based on the novel by Raphael Sabatini. Can't you save us, Britney Spears? Can we be saved? God, why is Satan controlling the universe? I don't think that was it. Now, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that was actually uh, Captain Blood or Raphael. But, you know, all right, play the right one. <laughs> you want the girl? Why not? And I'm willing to pay for what I want. Come on, sec. You boast the knowledge of pearls. But what do you value each of those? Oh, a thousand pieces each. They're worth rather more, but very well. Here are twelve. The three-fifths the value of the prize due your ship for having made the capture. For the share due my men, I make myself responsible. Will you be so kind as to take my property aboard ship? Yes, I think. And that settles that, my captain partner. No, you don't. Fuck your pizza. Come, sir. Wait. You'll not take her while I live. Then I'll take her when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. He was just, he was the great swashbuckling actor.